Hello, the Lucius friends. Today, a lens set up and a clash. Me I go from uh, medium against medium, basically. Um, this, this 20 million. Million air and sea builds, which is the um, currency of the inner sphere. Uh, more about the law on my uh, homepage and on zana.net, I think it is. I have a setup in my head. I um, tested it out yesterday, which is one Tebouche. This wonderful guy here um, has LRMs, two 15ers. A Centurion 9A, oh, it's the right one, perfect. Uh, a Griffin uh, 1N, I think it is. No, this is the LRM guy. Um, there are not enough mechs in here yet, but they will come. Um, as an example, I'm missing the wonderful um, Marauder, which is one of my. Um, it's a mech I love best, and also the Shadowhawk is my second uh, favorite here. Uh, one other than N could be a PPC. I can't remember. I have an one and a J, but there's no one J. And it's also the official uh, names of these um, mechs here: the Shot Cut Centurion A, and um, for that you have like the classifications. It's basically like like mech is like. A rifle, like um, if you have like a G36, there are different uh, versions of that um, weapon, as they say. And here we go for Vindicator 1R, one, Vindicator one and I wish I could actually sort this by name, but I cannot. Thorn, this is not the right mech, I think it's a bit more expensive than that. Uh, yeah, that is the one. Then you have the wonderful pilots that have special abilities. I guess that these slots are if they level up later on. Uh, like the Tibouche here, um, this wonderful person. Uh, more about these um, things later, but Burwak is actually a good thing. At last time, I, no, sensor lock is wrong. I don't want the sensor lock in my LM mech, because if you do sensor lock, um, this wonderful ability here, the turn ends, uh, which is not great. Uh, I think Ozone can do this. Um, this I really don't like the multi-target, maybe for really heavy mechs. Uh, but he goes here, give Paradise, my um, most favorite guy, by the way. Because um, he has evasive every time he moves, he uh, can do has a chance to dodge, which is great. And then the Vindicator gets actually a guy with this ability here. Uh, this is, uh, what is it called again? Uh, precision strike because this one of a mech here, the Vindicator, the Vindicator has one PPC with a really good red range, and the rest is just um, support weaponry. So, uh, if it only has one weapon and this is only fires one weapon, it's perfect. Like, um, that gives you the wonderful buff that attack uh, cover guarded, which is great. And if I have just a Griffin here. And that wonderful Griffin has uh, some lasers and some LRMs. It's basically a support mech. <coughs> and I treat this as such. So, multi target is nah. Sensor lock. I had last time I had nobody was sensor lock. So let's do the Griffin that. Let's do the Griffin that. This makes no sense at all. And we go here medium assault. I don't know. This is um, the light zone. It's a 50 million. Uh, category and the medium stuff here is what I want to fight right now. Next, um, I will um, go for the really heavy battle, like the 25 million or whatever. Um, this is a benefit, by the way, but you have in the battle verse uni uh, battle verse universe, the battle tech universe. You don't you don't have a choice what you use. You just have things and use it. But obviously, that won't work for. Several reasons. Medium assault, medium battle cavalry. No, I don't want to fight Shadowhawks. Hmm. These are two hunchbacks, they're really dangerous. The 4P, I think, is the one with. The AC20. No, it's the one with the medium laser. These are annoying as fuck. Anyway, let's just. Um, I can sadly not go for here random because it uh, includes the light ones. And that would be unfair, about it? Ah, let's have the support group. Um, this setup I tried out yesterday. 
um, basically is um, flanking, flanking, flanking with a bit of LRM. The next um, game I'm going to play is LRM heavy to show that off. It was a very fun fight yesterday. I will load for a bit. And here we go. Oh, wasn't even ready yet. I could I launch? No idea. So until we have met an enemy, um, we just um, move our guys. And here's a little um, indicator that I can uh, choose one. Medium mouse button moves the camera. You can also do it with W, S, A, and D. Um, I don't use the uh, query layout though, so I would use the arrow keys here to do that. Choose dude, and um, they are actually highlighted when you hover over paradise. This mech is highlighted here, and I want to move the first one. And I did not ch actually change the map, but that's okay. So let's go with the griffin uh, hard to the right, and let's see what's here while I actually open my energy drink. So let's just do all of them. Not in the battle phase yet. Um, this guy here with the PPC, <coughs> I pull him off to the right. Actually, Windicate is a macro online, are quite fun. Even though a bit slow. And Ozone here with the LRMs. And the Centurion could actually go and spot on the left side. Um, he's my flanker, by the way. Uh, yeah, let's go here and have a look. As a human, you have to expect, if you were fighting a human player, um, expect like coming from, them from the side. So spreading the uh, lands up is a bad idea. I mean to scout, sure. Enemy contact, okay, we have sensor lock soon. This is a heavy mech, 65 tons. And this is the unknown one, okay. Oh! And this is a light mag. The locust, I assume. And now the battle starts. Uh, the locust has its initiative, so he moves first. He could also wait or reserve his move. But he doesn't seem to do. And he now spots us for the rest of his team. Um, but you know what really is great? Um, first of all, I have all in the same group here. Um, the medium guys are not as uh, quickly in the, uh, not in the first two phases here. Uh, there's a buff, um, like a pilot skill, that gives them um, priority. Like uh, they go one further to the left in the movement order. I don't have that. Uh, have you want to witness here? And the wonderful thing about this game is. I'd like for a free movement, I'd like uh, if I'm not the attack button. This is to fire only. But here for our move, and you can just basically click on this and then um, midi attack this guy. And I'm doing exactly that because it's just a fucking locust. Ah, fuck. But he had cover. However, you have cover for melee attacks, I don't know. But melee attacks were great in a tabletop. And there comes the alarms. Ow. And here you see um, the indicator that he comes unstable, that he's getting hits. And um, when this fills up, he is knocked down. But this wonderful Zumo guy he has his precision strike. And that is a really wonderful ability, as I show off now. This guy has cover, has um, damage reduction and stuff like that. Um, I will show that in a second. Here, attack this guy. Um, has forest, here's in the left. Uh, forest, have to have some damage reduction. He has cover. And is evasive. Because he sprinted. And defends from movement. And when I only use one weapon, he will lose his precision strike ability. 
It's abysmal. Can I attack this guy? Yeah, but I want to actually reverse to here. Like walking backwards. Only 35%, that's really bad. And let's not fire the LMs. And he dodged, it's motherfucker. Nope, it didn't. That's a really bad turn. Uh, we have an LM10 with this guy. Uh, he has actually to turn to them. Actually, I'll reverse a bit into the wood. And now we attack this guy with alarms. That was Locus Do, by the way. They are so annoying. I mean, in the um, Macaron Online, they just run around, do things, and spot. That's really annoying. There comes the alarms, so I will back up a bit. I mean, they are indirect fire. It doesn't make, make any difference. I got to fall this guy out of the wood. And also back up a bit because you are too um, heavier max. Ow. Hey, come on. Yeah, last time I dismembered the locust, like with one shot. <laughs> Just ripped his torso off. He seriously melee attacks me. And the fucking machine gun, stop it. Uh, could fire. He has sensor lock. I would like to use it on a different mech. This is 90%. What's this with the melee attack? 85. My meleeing does. Thing is, it's a dice roll, right? So I had to mic uh, mute the microphone there a second to cough. Uh, it's a dice roll. Like in every game, the tabletop has like 2d6. And one roll, and I uh, get the 15% chance to miss. Or I do this. Yeah. It's even more damage, but let's not fire the LMs and just. That was not very successful, but still, it was a hit. Ow. I have to retreat this guy soon. Also, there's no friendly fire. He has no chance to actually hit his locust. And Sumo, please kill this clown. <laughs> That's what I mean. Kill this clown. And Ozone actually is in cover from there, is he? Reverse some more, I think. Uh, now my own mech is in the way, and escape brings you back to this. Um, by, this by the way, just click left click, and then he is in this. I don't have to hold it or anything. Yeah, actually, go here. Maybe a better line of sight here. Uh, yeah, let it rain with everything. And here you see the heat. Actually, let's uh, skip on the medium lasers. This is uh, the heat I have, and this is where I end. And here starts the uh, um, bullshit, basically, here at this point. Little thing like structural damage and stuff like that. Fire! I don't think he likes that, no. And I will reverse with him even further behind um, the little rock here. 
Uh, right, uh, holding right mouse button, by the way, does this. It's really nice. It's full 3D. You have the hex fields, though, um, while moving and stuff. They found that easier, they said in the interview here. Let's fire at this guy. Ah, head hit. If you kill the pilot, he's obviously dead and the mech is out of order. Otherwise, you have to destroy both legs or the center torso. As in every Battletech game. Slash mech warrior. Hey, come on. Stop that. I hope to kill him this turn, but um, apparently not. Ow. Ah, he falls down because of all the LM fire he's taking. I heard an idiot witness. Hey, this is an auto cannon or some shit. Yeah, this light makes are really annoying. Oh, I snuck down as well. And the first game I actually played, um, I got um, pilot killed twice, like in the first three, four rounds. As well, dice rounds. Where is he going? He's backing up. And you know he has a chance to call shot on my dude here. It's still fine. And witness here, I think. He has to stand up before the other gets a chance to uh, do something stupid. Uh. He actually has. Uh, I have to retreat this guy, kind of. Uh, let's actually reverse this guy. In here into the wood. Forest. Whatever. And now I cannot attack, but I can fucking sensor lock one of these guys. I can also sensor lock these guys. Let's do that. Sensor lock him. <coughs> and this is a Jäger mech. A Jäger mech. Yeah, it's a Jäger. It's an a Omelot. Should be. Yeah, you stand up as well. And I have no chance of attacking him here. Uh, I think I will go here, turn around. I have still no chance of hitting him, what? Uh, let's go here. With your Vindicator and then um, bash his face in with your precision strike thing. <laughs> there we go. Moron. And he doesn't have a line of sight on me, which is perfect. But I want ozone here. And let it drain. He has no line of sight on us, I hope. Fire! Yeah, payback is bitch. And now it's just paradise. And he has to move to get his ways of stuff. Uh, this would be stupid to go here. Alarms are a great support weapon. I love them so much. They're a bit annoying in Macro Online, but. And annoying here as well, by the way. <laughs> but they, then they spread the damage out everywhere, so that's bad as well. Now nah, I'm running away. No, he's not. Oh! Auto cannons. But he had to kill the stupid locust. Oh, you have to go. And we have to 
move witness first. Actually start reversing here because I am a coward. I have the ranged weapon for now. And my sensor lock guy. He could have a sensor lock guy as well, so there's that. I actually did not pay attention. And sensor lock this is the range, it's a blue circle here, and it's sensor lock this guy. Oh, a catapult, another LM boat, as we call it. Oh, he's dead. Yep, called it. I know. And he would be better in the water, which actually cools down the mech a bit more. But standing still is good enough for me right now. Fire. Unsteady, huh? Good. You just attack. Also, the more weapons you fire with the LMs, every LM is a hit and you have a better chance to actually hit his cockpit and injure the pilot. Entrenched, huh? No witness here. Uh, you just do sensor lock and fire full salvo. One turn of death. 45 ton mech, what is this? I don't know yet and I don't care. Yeah, I stupid entrenchment and stuff reduces the damage he gets. Which is a problem, obviously. But I can still let it rain. Ah, see another pilot hit. Great. I know. I have to dismember this guy, I guess. Line of vision? Nope. But the suppression is working. That's nice. Uh, do I actually... Is the battlefield? Can I go wherever? Can I still use the sensor lock? Ah, uh, we may be out of range down here. But I kind of want to start um, heading over here. Or in fact, the other direction. Keep this um, wonderful little mountain here. In between us and the enemies and it's a sensor lock this guy what are you vindicator okay oh it's line of sight it's fine I don't give a damn actually <laughs> uh, it's time for paradise he is, um, yeah, perfect. Though they have, um, can fire the LMs at my Centurion as well, which is not that great. Hard hit on the leg, okay. And a head, headshot, sadly with the lasers. And he gets the, um, has a bulwark here is guarded when he's stationary. So I kind of want to just um that's bad for the LMs. But he's overheating anyway. Oh it's even worse. I cannot punch him in the face. What? 
you guy reverse I don't see anything but the heat is bad hmm It actually just brace and cools down a bit, I think. Good. There comes the LMs. I'm trying to kill my Triboche. No, the Centurion, actually. Don't do that. Ow. What are they in his eyes? What the shit? Uh, and the Centurion is actually a flanker. Let's do exactly that. Go in. And he has cover moved and stuff like that he has not moved yet he actually has okay never mind let's fire with everything but LMs should be fine yeah tech is now nah, the right arm actually I have to destroy and there should be the right arm here because it's the front of the mech ow <laughs> what the fuck want a beef or what ow Bastard. So, and we can all basic, basically go in with this guy. Stay a bit in cover from these two guys. As we block the road with the Centurion here and just dismember this clown. Nice, another headshot. And we have Ozone here. Um, I wish I were in water. Okay, that's interesting. I cannot see the overlay thing there for a second. But it's still um, better. There are bugs to be expected. Yeah, not that great, but still. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, we are okay. Awa, hey, come on. Yeah, I know. I noticed. Oh, there goes the torso and the entire left side. Oh god. I know, I'm kind of aware. So, um I have to stand up with Ozone here. To not give them any um call shots on me. And then I think I just reverse out of here. Uh, Bulwark is just in the stationary, which is bad. Could sprint away. That's, uh, by the way, a good idea. Let's just run away. Enter the water to cool down and then fire another salvo of LMs. I think that's a good idea. Hey. The <laughs> pew! So, and he's a very fast medium mech, and if I'm lucky, yeah, let's go here and shoot him in the fucking back, because it's what I am, um, it's most effective, the armor on the back is very weak, and that's exactly the job of the centurion. 
knife, he actually would hit. Here, it's already... Armor's gone. And we can actually jump with this guy. Which is awesome. And jump in his back. That's why I like medium max so much. I have a bit of firepower and they are very mobile. And then he just roasts them. And there we go. Now we look now. Oh! And the catapult is like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Of course, he hits the back as well. Ooh, oh, that's very bad. I hope to kill him, actually. Sometimes you get lucky, of course. Ah, uh, he can do the same, though, and this will hurt. That was a stupid um, precision, precision strike, though. And now I can um, inspire someone. Um, this gives a wonderful little bonus. When you gain enough mile, you can inspire my query, increasing the combat power for prowess for this activation. Yes. They ignore cover and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it's a cover awesome. Uh, awesome. I usually see it with the damage numbers. And the thing is, behind here, behind the catapult, there's nothing um, that he cannot move there because it's blocked so if I jump here time to fly deed Woo! he cannot move behind me which is awesome here uh, overheating war warning yeah can do nothing about that Also, there's a um, death, death from above attack. We just jump on an enemy, which is very fun as well. I may have to do that later. Ow, come on. Hmm. I, I, hmm. I, I know. Don't worry about it. And he only gets his evasive mode only when he moves. And it's just uh, um, standing behind dance I do right now with them. That's good. Ah, he's nearly losing some arms and legs and stuff like that. And he lost his wonderful weapon, which is really bad. And we just fire at this guy here. Hmm. Small laser crit. Fantastic. I think I'm going to lose this. Next turn I'm going to inspire someone, I guess. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. There goes the torso. Nope. It's still okay. And the two heavies uh, are dancing with me again. Oh, no, he's... No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and let's go here. Uh, actually move that far. Oh, yeah. And into the water. Away from this guy here. And actually uh, inspire him. And fire everything. Except the lamps. <laughs> there we go. That's almost clean except for like the back where I just annihilated this guy. Perfect. Wonderful. Oh no. Yeah, the leg is okay. Fire at the legs. The legs are fine. I, I'm aware. And witness here. Can we move here? Yes, we can. Let's kill this guy as well, I hope. Or let's get one of their arms. They're like bulky, wonderful um, 
rocket launches here. Missiles, whatever, one of those. Kill it. Oh, and there we go. And now I'm just basically dismembering these clowns. And here's still Bulwark, let's just fire at this guy. Hit his back as well. Ow, that has to hurt. Oh! What a melee attack, come on! I guess already. I oh know why he's. Uh, uh, yeah, he has no weapons left. Counter attack, come on! <laughs> he make, does more damage though because he has it's a heavier mech. Yeah. Uh, Keep repeating that, but sometimes it's true. Uh, at some point, I mean. Uh, going to the front armor is bad. He has three medium lasers left. I could dismember just this guy here. But I don't get my evasive move if I don't. Mm, evasive stance thing if I don't move, so that's bad. But I also don't want um, them to fire his PPC in my bag, so. But I will just risk it. Here, come on, paradise. Sem send someone to paradise. And he's dead. Worth it. I can inspire again? No. Otherwise, voice action is actually kind of great. Here. Oh. That was great. And it really feels awesome. And the sound is great as well. Um, never do a storm attack on an M boat, by the way. Just die doing that. Okay, let's not fire lamps this time. And now he's alone. He always has a back to someone. It's 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 a job for um Paradise though. Because it's exactly exactly his role to um flank people. Yeah, that's I am snow. There goes his PPC. And done! Nice! And next up, um, heavier mechs. Uh, lots of LRMs is my plan. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm starting this basically as a series. It's not one because it's all these skirmish, 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 skirmish. But if uh, the more you watch, um, the better the idea you get about the game. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, if you are going to decide to actually buy it, slash back it, or not. So there's that. Um, I will explore uh, possibilities as the um, time goes by, like what kind of um, builds you can do and stuff like that. So please subscribe and comment. Also, um, constructive criticism, always welcome. So go for it. Bye-bye. Ah, by the way, um, the action report is just who died and everything. Yeah, the cat is awake too. Statistics. See you tomorrow. Bye.